stop wasting time on games. Or at least, bad games. You know the ones I'm talking about. The games where you're arranging candy by color or crossing an unrealistic number of roads as farm animals. Games that are repetitive and mindless and addictive. There are so many better options. Games that will help you improve a skill or help you relax or just get you thinking with more than just your lizard brain. So here are some games that you should be playing. Parents, cover your ears. I'm about to say something controversial. Games don't rot your brain. In fact, there are games out there that claim to do the opposite. These are games designed to train your brain. Two of the best brain training games I've played are Elevate and Lumosity. Elevate focuses on training skills like writing, reading, speaking, and math with beautifully designed mini games. The free version of the app lets you play three games per day and keeps track of your progress with a system that rates your proficiency in each skill. So for example, this game is helping me figure out my percentages in math. 10% of 700, easy, that's 70. But it's gonna teach me the skills I need to build on top of that and to use tricks that I can actually apply in real life. So 1% of 700, I just gotta move the decimal place over, right? So it's gonna be seven. There are a lot of things I love about Elevate. It's one of the best designed apps I've ever used. It offers practical study materials and tips to improve your skills. And I never really felt like I had to pay for the premium features, which unlock every game, more data to track your progress, and higher difficulty levels. Lumosity is similar to Elevate in a lot of ways. With its free tier, you get the standard three mini games per day. And just like Elevate, these beautifully designed games are meant to help you sharpen a certain set of skills. So for example, in this game right here, I am getting these coffee orders coming in and I have to fill those coffee orders and also make sure that I'm serving the coffee on time before it gets burnt. So there's a lot of multitasking here. There's a lot of flipping back and forth. You have to make sure you remember all the tasks in the proper order. And it's just flexing those muscles so that I can practice those and get better at those ostensibly. Where Lumosity differs is the skills it chooses to track. Its mini games are designed to help you improve things like memory, attention, and problem solving. Lumosity also has over 50 mini games compared to Elevate's 35 or so. With Lumosity's premium version, you get access to all of those games and advanced tools to track your progress. But again, I never really felt like I had to pay. To be clear, brain training games make a lot of claims about improving cognitive functions, but there's not much evidence that there are long-term benefits to things like intelligence or focus. Studies have found that the only reason you're improving at these games is because you're playing them over and over and over. If you practiced your free throws every single day for six months, yeah, you'd probably get good at it. That doesn't make you LeBron James. But if the idea of tracking skills and doing math stresses you out, this next set of games might be for you. These are games designed to help you chill. Arixo and I Love Hue are relaxing puzzle games that you can't just mindlessly tap away at. Orixo's gorgeous, minimalist design and calming music could fool you into thinking it's a simple game, but in reality, it's full of challenging and hard to master puzzles. The game does a great job of teaching you the basics, but the difficulty quickly ramps up. If number puzzles aren't your thing, I Love Hue might be for you. The premise is simple. Move the pieces around to match the colors and complete the gradient images. Nothing is more satisfying than snapping that last piece into place and completing each puzzle, especially if you're a visual person. Both of these games will make sure you aren't just tap, tap, tapping your screen like a zombie, and they'll actually challenge you to think. But at the same time, their clean visuals and simple mechanics can be relaxing and even meditative. Of course, if all these fancy schmancy newfangled games don't interest you, you could always go old school. Like, really old school. The first published crossword was printed in 1913. But there's a reason crosswords have stuck around for over a century. They're fun. The New York Times crossword app is the same beloved puzzle you'll find in the paper. The free tier is really restricted and it doesn't allow you to play the actual daily puzzle, but you'll still get a daily mini puzzle and a handful of starter puzzle packs. Bonza is a bit of a twist on the traditional crossword, but it's a beautiful and addictive game 
that scratches that crossword itch. So there you have it, a handful of fun and challenging and productive games that you'll be better off for having played. So what do you think? Do brain training games actually make you smarter or is it just some sort of fake placebo effect? And let me know in the comments below what topics I should cover in the next app directory. And make sure you subscribe to Lifehacker. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.